What's the worth? That's over a thousand bucks. A couple thousand bucks? Four thousand dollars. <laughs> Woo! Let's line up the bags over here. I'm gonna say 100 bucks. Pianos, I mean. 300 bucks. Let's see what we got out here, Mary. I mean, I love the system you got going here. This is very effective. This is what you have when you deal with a professional. Ooh, look at this. Oh, yeah! Oh, I think that's as big as me. Oh, I know the mariachis play it, but it's not a guitar. It's a, hey, Memo, what is this? A mandolin. Mandolin, I don't think it's a mandolin. Oh, yeah! There we go. Good job, Memo. Yeah, those are Mexican <laughs> uh, sombreros. Oh, oh yes! So, Mary, I think we're going to have to have these checked out. What do you think? Absolutely. Let's keep going. One unit down and one to go. Whoops! Get a move on, boys. Oh, my God. Money! I mean, this is going to be like oh a Coca-Cola museum. It's not even a collection anymore. $100 in that box, $100 in that box, $100 in that box. You know, ballpark figure, 100 bucks a box. So we've got 24 Coke boxes at $100 a box. That's $2,400. I love these. This is mid-century modern, you like you've ever seen. Yes. Recovered, 400 bucks. We've made thousands of dollars. What do you think? Best day ever. For meeting master mariachi, Jesse Hernandez. To find out if our instruments are worth mucho dinero. What's well, called a vihuela. Vihuela? Vihuela actually originated in Spain, believe it or not. Well, let us show you this one, Jesse. That's a um, guitarron. Guitarron. For beginners, I think they're, they're pretty cool, you know? OK, so what can we get for both? Well, this vihuela is not really top of the line. Uh, it is used. So I would uh, give Mary maybe 400 bucks for something like this. It's not yeah. bad. For the big guy, probably like. 650 at the most. Thousand bucks for the two? Not That'll bad. work. That'll definitely buy a lot of margaritas. Muchas. It sucks having to split the profits with Dave, but with my skills and his trucks, we turned out to be a pretty good team. I didn't get the collectibles I was looking for, but I'm definitely gonna make money. That's all that matters. This is one of the boxes that caught my eye. And it's all lug nuts, and they're just not regular lug nuts. I mean, they're like nicer looking ones. So this box right here, easily 800 bucks. Here you go, pit crew air tool, 25 bucks. Let's see what we got here. These are usually poker chips. Long acre, uh, 12 temp memory, tire pyrometers. So that's something I might actually get checked out. One thing I know when it comes to car racing, stuff gets expensive. More tools, 25 bucks. Whole box of men's shoes. That's that vintage look, dress shoes. It's probably 15 pairs in here, 10 bucks a pair. That's 150 bucks. And these are all actually wheel spaces. You usually get about 20 bucks a piece for these. Shoes and lug nuts. I think this unit was owned by a mechanic with a shoe fetish. I already made a bunch of money on my locker, but I've never seen one of them tire temperature things. So I'm at the Irvindale Speedway to find out more about it. This is actually a pyrometer used for taking tire temps showing you if the tire is underinflated or overinflated. So this is expensive, right? To really give you a value on this machine, we need to test it on hot tires. <laughs> turn, 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 How fast was that? Uh, 135, 140. Wow. So. There we go. You can see the tire temps right here. We got uh, 178 degrees all the way around. You know, and all you... I really want to know is what's it worth? It's worth right at $300. That's awesome. Minus the cost of my pants, we'll call it $275. You ready? I'm ready. It'll get sweaty. Dresser, dresser, nice stand. About 400 Ooh, oh, those LGs? Is that LG? Yep. LG. Yep. A couple hundred bucks a piece. Oh, this is Hermes? Wait a minute. Is this a Birkin? Those are like 10 Gs. What? I'm not kidding. We could sell that for a couple thousand bucks. A couple thousand dollars for that oh. purse? Are you kidding? Is that a Prada bag? It says it is. Ooh, let me see that. Probably get like 500 bucks Fancy. for this thing. It's a Chanel. Certificate of Authenticity. Authenticity. It's legit, so a couple hundred bucks. Babe, well, look at this. What is this I thing? I don't know. I thought it was like a shake maker where you like put the cup in here and you're like, mm -hmm, but we're gonna have to look into that thing. I'll figure it out, I always do. We've made a killing on this unit. That karma stuff works pretty quick.
The item we found is some kind of glass chiller. So we're taking it to Larry Nicola from Nick's Beverly Hills. I think we should try to hook this the baby up and it's Whoa. lit up. Boy, the light show and everything. What? This is pretty cool. How does it work? Yeah, you just find a nice uh, place in your bar. And then I attach this to a CO2 tank and just turn it on. Put the glass under here, push this back. <laughs> Lights up. Yeah. Now we're chilling. Yeah. 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 Is the show. Whoa, Whoa. That's a frosty That mug. thing is awesome. Yeah. What do you think it's worth? Mm. I would say this is worth 280. 280 bucks? Yeah. Nice. Screw the 280. I'm putting this thing in my bar at home. <laughs> Ready? Oh, man. Oh, man. What did we get ourselves into? <laughs> This offer definitely looked better at the time, but at least we only paid 110 bucks. Oh, yeah. Really high tech binoculars. Oh, okay. I'm going to say this box, 40 bucks at least. Oh, yeah. Vintage lighters. Oh, so yeah, these are yeah, awesome. yeah. This is that a cool. camera lighter? Cute. It is. These are good old lighters. 20 each on these. It's not exactly movie stuff, but at least it's making me money. Ooh. Hmm. It's heavy. No idea what it is. A flex cam. OK, there's, it's a camera thing of some sort. Something goes in there. Where's the hole where you look into it? Oh, I guess the screen. Power. Nope. Well, whatever a flex cam is, you've got one now. Cool. This one, to me, is worth getting checked. This thing's legit. I mean, look yeah. at the case. Yeah. I'm stoked about this thing. I love cameras, and I love to play. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did some research and found out that my flex cam is used by home inspector, so I found one in action. Hey, home inspector David Salvato. So as far as home inspectors go, we use these things all the time to identify things like leaks, heat, uh, heat and overload in electrical panels. OK. Let's kind of put this thing through its paces. I'm going to let you hold on to it, OK? I should never be trusted with anything <laughs> valuable. <laughs> Oh, so we have all the blue, then. So blue would be cold, and it should start to turn color right now. Wow. Right? That's, That's neat. great. <laughs> this thing is super high tech. But is it super high price? How much are we talking value-wise? OK, it looks like you have all the parts and pieces here. So I think maximum $4,000. Oh, my god. Ollie's coming with me to every action. This thing right here, it's a $20 vacuum. There's another $25 vacuum. I'll guarantee nobody else got one of these today. That goes in the trash pile, but this is cool. Look at this big thing, man. This is Jack and the Beanstalk's desk lamp. Worth about 100 bucks. Oh, cool. Look at these old aviation glasses right on the top. Mark Sterling Silver, too. Let me jam. Another little pair of those shades. Are these reading glasses? It's another pair. There's sunglasses all through this locker. I'm definitely going to go get these things checked out. <laughs> That's going on my headboard. Kimber's going to love that. That's worth 50 bucks. Yeah. That guitar right there, little beginner Yamaha, made in China about 75 bucks. This locker ended up not being too bad. There's probably another $400 worth of stuff left in here. And Barry is in the locker. Barry's in the house! What's happening? I'm meeting Van D. LaPlante at the gentleman's breakfast. Judging by that get up, I found the right guy. This is called a pince nez. It means pinch nose. It's French. Now check these. These are railroad glasses to keep dust and debris out of people's faces. It's amazing. They're cool. Wilson with two L's. So these guys are out of Reading, Pennsylvania. They're beautiful. Would you mind telling me what these are worth? The pince nez, you could get uh, 250 What? All right, the railroad shades, 350 <laughs> Next, 85 because they're messed up, even though they look cool. All right, man. So we're down to the last pair of shades I brought you. What are they worth, buddy? It's in good shape. It's got the original case. Uh, I could definitely move these for 400. 400 bucks? That's over a thousand bucks in my pocket. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world.